Hello YouTube. Well, I have a treat for you today. More vintage hardware. Except this stuff we, we can actually see run. This is an IBM PS Note 425. This is before the ThinkPads, I believe. It's back in the early 90s. Uh, I don't know who Phil Harrison is. Case designer. This was back when case designers could put their name on the computer cases. So Phil Harrison designed the case for the <laughs> PS1 Note 425. It still has the door. Yeah, but the, the clip is broken because of the plastic. But the clip is broken because all this ABS plastic from the 90s was horrible. So let's look at the back here. On the back, you get a blurry, blurry port. You get a PS2 keyboard and mouse port. You get a whole I.O. Get the whole I.O. behind the door. You get what looks like is that DB9 serial. Mm -hmm. um, so parallel we, we for We could actually plug this, key, we could plug this mouse into it. Yeah, we have a three-button mouse here that could probably fit in there. Let's see if it does. Yep, that's a serial port. DB9 serial port. That is printer port. I yep. don't know. If, I don't know if it's an LPT or a parallel port. It's one of the two, or both. <laughs> that is a VGA monitor port. I don't know if it's SVGA or just plain old VGA. Because I've never tested that. We've never tested that before. It's it, yeah, but it's the same port. It's a different standard. Uh -huh. Yeah, the on-off button, stupidly, just like some of the power books, is put behind the door in the back. Yeah, you should have learned. They didn't learn back in the day. That was a stupid idea. As you can see here, this is the clip. This little tiny plastic lever is broken and dead. No longer springy. And unfortunately. Super glue might fix that, but not for very long. Yeah, exactly. So, here's Unfortunately, the I don't have the battery for it. But, the battery. But it works without the battery. For the longest time, I thought I was out of luck. And then I found its carrying case somewhere in our basement. Along with it was the charger plug for it. Yes. Don't plug it in yet. we got to show okay. it. Okay. Oh, jeez. All right. So, I don't have a screwdriver, and I need to pry that open. I'll get my... Okay, we're going to open up this cover and see what's in there. I believe that's the memory, but I am not sure. Yeah. It is indeed oh. the memory. And it looks like they have two batteries in here. There's a uh, a button cell clock battery, and I don't know what that battery's for. I could not tell you that. But it looks like there's a slot in here for memory expansion for a SIM or something, maybe. Cool. I am not sure on that one. That's where the battery and a memory expansion are. I bet there, there's probably, a, there's either a SIM hidden somewhere or there's memory built into the motherboard. Yeah. You know, we really don't know yet. But that damn door. <laughs> Let me see the cord here. So, plug it in. And it opens with two latches on the front here. Let's put the camera down to open. And then it opens to a beautiful old PS Note screen. You can see the logo is less faded on the inside here. This has a black and white passive matrix LCD display. And it has a rather nice feeling keyboard. It has the track point uh, eraser head mouse. And... I love this keyboard. It feels wonderful. Yeah. Uh, it has uh, manual sliders for brightness and contrast. Man, I just had those set to the perfect thing, too. <laughs> Sorry. <That's cool. laughs> we can reset them when we start it up. But I'm sure under this, you can get... Does the keyboard come out? I haven't tried. The one thing I did notice, though, about this thing... This whole case isn't plastic. This is a metal case. The entire thing is metal. It's aluminum. That's aluminum. That's nice. So let's turn this on and see what it does. Let's turn the power supply on. Yeah, it springs to life. Hard drive's been up. See the hard drive there? There, there we are. go. Doing the memory check. 
see how much memory is in here. Four megs. It's probably built into the motherboard. <laughs> Error 161 and 163, which means it has a bad, which means it has some bad batteries. Let's reset the, uh, perfect. Yeah, that looks good. Let's just continue anyway. Look at this BIOS. Looks like the screen's having some trouble because of these lines, but... Whatever. It might be a video cable. I'm going bad after so many years, but it's starting MS DOS. V safe. Eh. I like it. Has a mouse driver. DOS key. There you go. IBM. Just four men. <laughs> Windows 3.1. We'll have to go into DOS too and see what version of DOS it is. Mm -hmm. That hard drive. It's just eating at the hard drive. And there you go. There's Windows 3.1. As you can see, this screen is rather dim and ghosty because it's a passive matrix display. But, seems to work rather well. It's, you guys can watch me suck at Minesweeper. I don't know. I don't know how to play it right. Mm, but, oh, there you ooh. go. Uh oh, that's bad. Um, let's try up here. Oh, <laughs> nice job. See, see, I told you guys I would suck. Nothing changes. I sucked at it back back when this was new too. <laughs> I was just a kid. I feel so inadequate. <laughs> What what applications are on here? That's my question. So, uh, you have to go to program manager right there. Okay, so we got PS Note Information Works, Microsoft Works, the Print Shop Deluxe, and Prodigy Software for the Internet. <laughs> yes, that's that's the stuff. What else is on here? BG two thousand EX ver guide. America Online, PC Plus slash Windows, PS Note Software. So let's take a look at Microsoft Works. As a joke for my senior year, I took this into school and was taking all my notes for like the last week of class on this on this laptop. And I That's brought a great with idea. me I brought with me a whole bunch of these. And every time the teacher would say, write this down, I would save to diskette, and for five minutes straight, it would write to a disk and make all these clicking and whirring <laughs> So these are double-sided high-density floppies from Electronics Boutique. Remember them? Oh, man. So, Microsoft Works doesn't work. Word processor. No, it does work. Yep. So let's test something out with the keyboard. Ah, uh, memories. Every key works. Every key works fine. Which is good. All right. What else we got? I believe if you go to file, you can actually see the C drive and see the max size. Oh, I'm sure. There's not much it's, else to look at on here. It's good for a laugh. Properties. Let's check it out. Uh, nope. Window. There we are. Maybe not. I forget how, but I managed to get oh, file on uh, Windows setup, probably. No. Eh, maybe not. It's, I haven't used 3.1 since I was like 2, 3, 4. <laughs> Control.
control panel. Nope. I don't know how to look at it, so we'll just use DOS. There's DOS prop right there. No exit windows. I'm gonna go into DOS and we'll see what version it is, because I can use DOS. Alright, here we are. This is DOS version 6.0, not even the point twenty two patch. <laughs> there you go. I forget the commands to do this. Sys maybe? Required parameter missing. I forget how to do this. Let's just see what's on here. I typed in dir slash w and we have all this stuff. Autoexec.bat. I like how it reads all memory in bytes. Not even kilobytes, just everything's in bytes. Yep. That bytes. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. There is the IBM PS Note 425. And it's quite an interesting machine from back in the day. I'm just glad that it still works. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's a good thing the hard drive still works too. I put I put colonization on it and it actually plays the sound from it and I was happy because I had the DOS version of colonization. Oh yeah. I remember trying to play Sim Ant on this thing. <laughs> oh, God, that was a, that froze up though cuz it didn't have it didn't have enough memory. Yeah, just Yeah. But an interesting piece of hardware none the none the same. I can get All backstory. The what is the backstory of this machine? The backstory of this machine, this belonged to my dad's friend and he used it as a business laptop for his landscaping business in the early in the early 80s I was in the late 80s and early 90s so this was his first machine and when he finally upgraded to a desktop it somehow ended up in my dad's possession <laughs> go figure your dad probably has that thing where computers just gravitate towards him happens to me all the time me too. Mm. Working in computer consulting does that. Mm. As I look at my mouth of trash. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at this. We got a 1 gigahertz EMAC, you know, Windows 95 machine, and Shells. a very, very naked HP computer. <laughs> there is nothing in that that is just a case with oh, man. Windows installation stuff on the side. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What? Oh, I can't look at it anymore. <laughs> So, that is a look at the IBM PS Note 425. Hope you enjoyed it, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.